in this video we will learn about uh, how we can achieve the sales number of sales in the last um, n days so here we have a very uh, simple model we have one sale table and the other is the calendar table and we need to calculate the number of sales in n number of days so for this um, we will handle this situation with the help of uh, variables so let's do it step by step we need to create uh, one base measure like uh, number of uh, sales so we just write a count rows function and the name of the table is sales this one and uh, then we need to drag and the other column will be from the uh, calendar table and uh, in the calendar we need to take date and we need uh, only date we don't need the date hierarchy and convert into table to for example this format okay so so we have like uh, on this state we have five uh, sales and here we have uh, four and uh, so on so let me write uh, one measure So here we have to write like um, a number of uh, sales in 20 days. And here we have to use one variable like uh, current date current underscore date is equal to we can take the max date sales and uh, here we have uh, order date this one and uh, then we have to use here a return keyword And then we need to use calculate the first measure that we have created number of sales where uh, we need to use here one filter function um, all calendar so we need to remove all the uh, incoming filters and uh, calendar date is greater than current date minus 20 and uh, calendar date is less than equal to current date so this is the formula and uh, now I need to drag number of sales So here you can see this is the like a total number of sales for uh, this date and uh, 
here we are getting the same date in uh, last uh, 20 days because uh, if we uh, if you see uh, this formula so what is the current date because uh, whenever we use the variable variable runs within the current filter context and this is the current filter context and uh, for the first row uh, what is the current filter context the current filter context is this date uh, like 7 1 2001 and uh, the number of sale is 5 and if we take uh, minus 20 minus 20 uh, this date till the current date we will have only uh, five um, sales and uh, if you go in the second we need to again take a minus 20 till this date so 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and 5 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 14 so this is how it's like a, a running total right so and in the same way if we need to compare um, maybe I need to write one more measure control V and uh, last 30 days so here you can see uh, we are getting the number of sales in 20 days and the number of uh, sales in the last uh, last 20 days and last 30 days so this is how uh, you can uh, analyze your data and uh, one uh, important thing is for example if i don't use here date and uh, i use here for example uh, I remove the date and uh, then I use here for example the product color this one so here you can see in the last uh, 20 days the number of sales for the black product is 149 and the number of sales in 30 days is 215 and uh, let me open the the formula for example we can take uh, this formula so here we don't need to remove any filter from the calendar table see if I uh, remove the all all function this one and uh, you will see in the number of sales in 20 days you will see that these values will not be changed uh, if I hit okay because it doesn't make any sense to to use here all function to ignore the values coming from the um, calendar table because we are not using here any uh, calendar any column for from the calendar table if you need to use the calendar table then you need to ignore otherwise you cannot calculate the values in the last 20 days and 30 days for example if I um, instead of color if I drag again the the date so here you can see the number of sales in 20 days these are exactly the same that we are able to see in the uh, current date because uh, this value these uh, number of sales are based on the current filter context to calculate the number of sales in the last 20 days we need to ignore the filter that is coming from the date column so that's why we have to use here all This one and if I click enter 
So you will see here, no, it is working perfectly fine, right? So this is how we can get the number of sales or the total sale or number of orders, sale order in the last uh, n number of days by using variables. If you have any question, please write in the comment section. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.